watch him suffer, and we just had to stop. Well, time wasn't on their side, but this woman is hoping another family is spared the same loss. Every day, more and more people are added to the waiting list for an organ. And an organization says there's only one way to stop that. This morning, we are putting organ donation in perspective and explaining why right now it is so important to become a donor. The hospital did these for us after people die. These are the handprints of Laura Dugan's dad. They're one of the only things left of the man who made such a big imprint on her life. So in 2007, my dad was diagnosed with end-stage liver disease um, due to a disease called PSC, and it's not very common. And these are my, my brothers and I. Dugan's family waited while her dad struggled through his illness. He was on the list for a liver for more than a year. I just remember being frustrated, watching him be so sick, and wondering, when are we going to get that call? They never did. Finally, uh, in 2008, he became so sick that, and he hadn't gotten a liver yet, and my family and I, we had to just make the heart-wrenching decision to um, end his suffering and take him off of life support. Unfortunately, other families in Illinois are grappling with that decision right now. We currently have about 5,300 people, um, give or take every day, um, in the state of Illinois that are in need of an organ. There are millions of donors in the state, but that's not enough to cover the need. Lola Lewis is with the Gift of Hope Organ and Tissue Donor Network. She works with families who need an organ and with those who are considering donating their loved one's organs. There may be 5.3 million people that are um, signed up to be an organ donor, but something may end up um, ruling them out for organ donation or they may not die in a way that allows organ donation to take place. Lewis says during the summer it's especially important to make sure people are signed up to be donors. People are doing more um, activities that may cause tragic accidents to occur. And that's where Lewis comes in, hoping to turn that tragedy into a gift of hope for someone else. If you would like to register to be a donor, it is easy to do. You can do it at the DMV or by going to giftofhope.org.